Hello, nice to meet you again. This video will tell you more from the last video about using tools for drawing. With details and techniques to help you use Affinity Designer on iPad better and easier. Before we start drawing, let's understand the pencil tool and pen tool a little more. Let's get to know the essentials for drawing first. Now see what interesting functions on it has for drawing. The pencil tool in vector mode is good for drawing lines too. When drawing in vector mode, the lines may feel controller different from drawing in raster control, which is a little harder than in pixel persona, but it's not a problem. At the top, there are various functions to choose from, such as sculpt. I use it to edit lines. The principle of it is to draw and edit on that line. That is, we have to draw on the line we want to edit or continue drawing from the last point or use it to close that line. Adjust the smoothness. There are also buttons for selecting fill color and auto close to draw points closer together. This new version will has more functions. It also has a pressure controller. If you want a more accurate line, you can adjust the rope stabilizer value more. These functions may require a little more study and experimentation to understand them better. Okay, let's talk about the pen tool so that we don't waste time. Tap and tap to create a straight line. Tap and drag to create a curve. Tap twice the last point to stop using it, or tap the X button on the bottom left, Tap the last point again to change the mode to smart mode and continue drawing. Select the last point to continue drawing. You can also use the command controller together with the node tool to edit the lines. Press the option key to select freehand. or make a straight line tap control to delete the line between two points for the pressure of the pen tool i will talk about the details and techniques of stroke lines in the next video okay so let's start by drawing this character i have drawn it with the pencil tool First, set the character's opacity down a little bit, then add a vector layer. All the lines we draw will be in this layer. Start drawing on the body first. I won't use lines with pressure, which is more suitable for this character.
I will use about 3 points to draw for curves. You can draw the lines that overlap each other and delete them later. We do this so that we don't have to worry about gaps or lines that don't touch each other. The pen tool is suitable for drawing lines that require precision, are too complete, and take more time than the pencil tool. I don't usually use it for drawing. Since we have the Apple Pencil, we can use it to draw. It's easy! Mostly, this style of cartoons uses the same line with no pressure. The large lines around the character's body and the lines that are the details inside will be a little smaller. This depends on your idea and design. I think good and attractive works have their own style. The details are not too much or too little. There are many other elements that are worth studying a little more, including color tones. From now on, I will use the pencil tool to draw so that this video is not too long. While working, tap one finger and hold to increase the selection, tap two fingers and hold to duplicate, tap two fingers to undo and three fingers to redo. Create a perfect circle and double tap on one side of the bounding box. You can also copy the lines and use the paste style command to the lines we have selected. When we finish drawing, we will see that there are quite a few overlapping lines. It's okay. Select all lines, tap and hold on the screen, then expand stroke, tap and hold again, then group for easy selection. Now you can use the Shape Builder tool to delete unnecessary lines first. Since this character is a line without pressure, you can delete the curve line directly. But if you draw with pressure, you must always expand the stroke before deleting. Otherwise, the stroke with pressure will be distorted if you delete it from the curve line directly. I will use the Vector Flood Fill tool to paint over it. You won't waste time erasing. How to pick the color, use the picker in the color panel, tap and drag to the color you want. The color will be selected, tap the selected color to use it again. This function will be improved in the new version 2.6. Don't forget, set the fill mode of the vector flood fill tool to knockout because when we set it to knockout, 
when we color in the area of the excess line or overlap, it will delete the old area and add the color area that we fill in instead. But if we do not set this, it may be a problem to combine the ink line area into a single piece later. Okay, done. This is all vector work. We can export it as a vector file. It can be scaled without losing quality. Next is the last step, which is to combine the same color area into a single piece, whether it is the ink line area, the same color area. In one piece for easy sending files to others or storing details such as shadows, highlights and effects. Please remember that when we add FX, it will make the work raster, not 100% vector. Next, add details. Select the bubble on the head. Tap the three dots above and select insertion targets as inside. Use the pencil tool to draw highlights. As usual, select the color area of the body. Go to Pixel Persona, use a brush to draw details into this area, as you design. For coloring, you can use either the pencil tool or the paintbrush. When using the paintbrush, you must choose the solid brush type that can expand the stroke. It is necessary for sending work to other places. Because the lines have not been added together as one piece. So we can do it like this. I don't have many videos on drawing in Pixel Persona, but I might try to do it in the next video. There are still many tools that help in drawing that I haven't talked about yet. Maybe in the future we won't be able to draw this kind of drawing anymore. Because of the arrival of AI art, I just want to say that it is developing and developing. We can't escape it anyway. Okay. This video should be all I think. Affinity Designer is not difficult to use. If you are starting to use it for the first time from another program, the working characteristics and various tools are similar. Personally, I think it is worth paying only once. During this time, there are many AI artworks. It is another option. It helps you save a lot of expenses. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.